cracking down on employers who hire illegals. Really? All fixed, huh? Well, here for a fair and balanced debate from the Federation for American Immigration Reform. Bob Dane joins us from, uh, as you can see right there, Washington. And immigration attorney Francisco Hernandez joins us down in Texas. Guys, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you. Hey, Good morning. Uh, Bob, this is great news. It's all better. Do you agree with the uh, Secretary of uh, Homeland Security? Uh, you know, look, uh, one would have hoped that Janet Napolitano, having been the governor of a uh, border state, Arizona, with a very serious illegal immigration problem, would have seen firsthand the problems, the impact of illegal immigration, and brought some meaningful enforcement to Washington. Anything but, she came loaded with a wrecking ball and has been gutting enforcement. The big immigration story this year really has been the slow, the steady, the stealthy dismantling, affirmatively, by this administration to gut enforcement, to dismantle it, one program at a time. E-Verify 287G, the fence, detention overhaul. Most revealing, I think, is that this administration is targeting only criminal illegal aliens. And that's fine. Right. Those are the bad guys. Okay. But if those are the only people that you target with enforcement, then you're sending a message to 95% of the illegal alien population that it's okay to come here as long as you don't get caught. Nobody's going to bother you. Okay, Francisco. Uh, so they're not going to crack. They're not going to have any of those. Uh, it doesn't sound like they're going to have any of those uh, employee or, you know, uh, employer raids that we saw on television and stuff like that. And they got 600 miles of border now. Why do you think that this is a perfect time to effectively grant blanket amnesty to at least 12 million illegals? Well, I, I don't think anybody's trying to uh, grant blank amnesty. I think what uh, Ms. Napolitano is saying, this is the time to do enforcement on employers rather than take all these draconian measures like just deport everybody we can find and have these massive uh, raids that just affect uh, a whole lot of innocent people. Uh, really has nothing to do. Uh, we, we gave all these draconian measures. Well, we, I didn't, but the government did. The fence didn't work, I, apparently, according to Bob. So it's time uh, to recognize that the immigration issue is a, it's an economic issue, not a political issue. The reason folks are going back is because there are no jobs. When the jobs are back, the folks are going to come back. You put up a tall fence, there's just going to be taller ladders. We need to address this issue. We don't need blanket amnesty, just a work permit and have these folks come out. One thing we have realized from this uh, uh, stronger enforcement is we have finally admitted that we are the number one exporters of, un of illegal weapons to to Mexico. Mm. Uh, we, we are recognizing that it is a two-way problem, that we have to have a two-way solution. All right. Uh, Bob, I see you want to weigh in there. Well, look, anything this administration is going to do on immigration needs to be evaluated for its impact on the American worker. You know, from our standpoint, I, th I think the good news is that even though uh, Obama is getting egged on to enact a massive amnesty, this is going to be a tough punt. I mean, we could not get amnesty passed when we, under Bush when we had the illusion of prosperity, you know, stable stock market, rising home values. Right. Now that we have real serious economic downturn, a credit crisis, two wars in Iraq, uh, you know, uh, a variety of right. domestic problems, this is going to be a tough punt for this administration to convince the American public okay. to flood the market. All right, guys, guys, guys we're going to have to workers. end it right there for right now. Uh, Bob and uh, Francisco, we thank you very much for joining us and weighing in on this. All right, uh, Brian and Gretch, come on in.